Hello and welcome to this uh, new uh, ATDI uh, presentation. Uh, this video will be focusing today uh, on broadcast capabilities in ICS Telecom. Uh, prior to watching this video, uh, we kindly invite you uh, to watch another video that is posted on our website uh, that covers ICS Telecom general capabilities that will provide you an overview of the overall capabilities of ICS Telecom which is uh, again uh, an all-in-one solution uh, for radio network planning supporting all radio technologies uh, deployed in the world going from mobile communication to to radars and of course uh, broadcast technologies uh, analog and advanced uh, digital technologies so today, uh, as part of this presentation, we are going to cover a few key points. Uh, this uh, presentation will be compl complemented uh, by additional tutorials that will address uh, MFN and SFN interference analysis with ICS Telecom. But uh, in this video, we are going to cover, uh, to do some refresh on cartographic layers to be used uh, in broadcast analysis, how to manage a network to create stations, define parameters, uh, how to define a simulation environment, uh, analyze uh, coverage, and uh, the last key points will consist of covering um, population databases that can be used for generating various types uh, of statistical reports and uh, site searching or gap filler uh, capabilities. So as, as a refresher, uh, cartographic data is obviously uh, one of the key uh, inputs of a radio planning tool. Uh, of course, uh, you are using uh, a digital terrain model uh, that is obviously used uh, for propagation uh, calculation together with a, a clutter layer uh, consisting of classes describing ground occupancy that is also used for calculation uh, of propagation. Complemented uh, by image layer or for providing uh, a visual uh, view uh, of the zone uh, of interest and uh, a layer that is extremely interesting and important for broadcast analysis is the vector layer uh, that basically uh, defines contours in order to define areas, sub-areas, districts, cities, borders uh, and specifically for population analysis in order to generate uh, relevant reports by area. Um, in terms of cartographic data, again, uh, there are several uh, categories of cartographic data and offering. Uh, what we call high resolution data in radio planning is in a range of 5 meter resolution or better. Uh, it's usually used uh, for dense urban areas and uh, in-depth uh, analysis. Medium resolution uh, data in a range of 20, 30 to 50 meter resolution uh, is definitely a good fit for broadcast analysis uh, on wide areas. And uh, for really wide area nationwide analysis, low resolution data such as 100 to 200 meters can be good enough for some type of analysis. Well, the, the main advantage of using low resolution data sets is that obviously you are dealing with very inexpensive uh, data. Uh, it allows very fast uh, computing calculation times uh, and it's definitely used for global outlook, wide area, nationwide analysis. As you get into ICS Telecom, you'll be able to define a network consisting of objects or stations. Uh, you'll have uh, access to ge general information which can be entered manually or imported uh, from ASCII files or CSV files or even databases uh, for heavy uh, quantity of data, including radiated power, frequency, antennas height, bandwidth, and so on. Of course, a signal technology will be assigned uh, to the station and to the transmitting receivers. Uh, then the next step will consist of defining radiation patterns. Uh, you'll be able to define the patterns uh, that can be uh, imported from various types of formats, even to be selected from libraries, and uh, the users will be able to set the azimuth, tilt, polarization, and so on, um, knowing that all those parameters will potentially be subject to optimization uh, with ICS Telecom you'll be able to uh, define the very vertical pattern, which you can select from, again, a library or import from various types of format. Uh, you'll be able to uh, define some location-specific information, of course, coordinates, altitude, some specific constraints, uh, and so on. 
Same applies for horizontal patterns, uh, which uh, you will be able to import or select uh, from databases. And then uh, you'll configure your stations by assigning a signal technology. Uh, in this case, that's a user interface for analog uh, station, but uh, you can very well do it uh, for advanced um, digital broadcast technologies. Uh, in terms of technologies supported by ICS Telecom and specifically for uh, the broadcast world, uh, ATDI is committed to supporting and implementing all uh, radio technologies that are deployed in the world or about to be deployed or currently being defined. Uh, as for broadcast technologies, we are typically referring to DVB DVB-T2, uh, ISDB-T uh, technology, ISDB-TB, uh, CMMB, uh, DTMB for China, uh, and terrestrial DMB for Korea, for instance. Um, then the users will be uh, able to define the simulation environment, uh, including uh, setting the, the receiving antenna's height, um, and also to set the limit distance of calculation. ICS Telecom does feature uh, a broad range of propagation uh, model, a very comprehensive library, including deterministic methodologies, statistical uh, models, uh, and also allows uh, the use of user-defined models. Another important capability of ICS Telecom is that you can uh, typically import drive test measurements, so uh, measure, measurement from the field, uh, which can be imported in various formats in order to go through the correlation uh, analysis process and in order to tune the models um, so that uh, ICS Telecom ends up uh, using the most accurate models for future simulation of your network. In terms of outputs, um, ICS Telecom provides a comprehensive uh, number of options, uh, visual or statistical outputs. You'll be able to display composite coverage, best server coverage, uh, to display the site overlapping area, uh, to display also simultaneous coverage, and many other views. Another key aspect uh, of uh, the management of broadcast technology in ICS Telecom is uh, the ability to handle population databases. Uh, you can either import population uh, databases uh, from existing database that you may have from administrations, or ICS Telecom allows you uh, to define uh, population spread uh, through a random uh, assignment of population density per clutter classes. And of course, together with the, the vector layer, it will basically provide uh, the population per area, sub-area, district, cities, and so on. This, uh, in terms of uh, <coughs> import of the, the vector layer, the polygons will be imported uh, with associated um, population. And of course, this allows comprehensive uh, analysis and a, a comprehensive set uh, of reports, uh, potentially highly detailed and in-depth uh, reports. And uh, the, the last major capability of ICS Telecom for broadcast analysis at a high level uh, is the prospective planning or gap filler uh, function. So basically, you'll identify a weak area uh, in terms of quality of service, in terms of coverage, which can be uh, automatically identified by the tool or can be identified through analysis by engineers, users. Uh, we'll define some coverage uh, goals, objectives, uh, and the tool will basically uh, lead um, the, the users through a process of identifying uh, site candidates uh, that will contribute uh, to improve, to optimize the coverage for a given area. So you have the ability to set uh, some search parameters for additional sites. Some, of course, uh, you can set goals in terms of uh, coverage uh, to be achieved or population uh, to be covered and the tool will help uh, filter and to isolate uh, the best locations. So basically ICS Telecom does integrate uh, a dedicated engine prospective gap filler uh, engine uh, that helps you going through uh, this process. At this point of time, I'm going to switch to the actual uh, tool, ICS Telecom, where we have loaded uh, a wide area project uh, with a, a, a broadcast network. Uh, as a reminder, uh, you have access to a, a digital terrain model uh, that provides elevation in each point, which we show here. 
uh, to a clutter layer providing ground occupancy information which is also used uh, in calculations and an image uh, layer uh, that provides a, a visual uh, view of the zone uh, of interest. Uh, we've already uh, set up a network here uh, on this map uh, which you can manage from a station list. We can open a site and look at the parameters. A general tab where you basically assign a signal technology uh, and high level and general uh, information such as nominal power, gains and losses, uh, frequency, antennas height and so on. Uh, you have the capability as we showed in the presentation to select the, the type of antenna that you are using and to define the horizontal and vertical pattern which you can select either from a library or to import from various types uh, of formats that are used by equipment makers. Uh, you can define <coughs> frequency plans, uh, site specific information, constraints uh, for instance and uh, some more advanced parameters that are directly linked to the type of technology that you have selected uh, can be entered either manually or through the import of ASCII files or even uh, from databases uh, for large amount uh, of data. Some quick and interesting uh, overview of uh, capabilities with ICS Telecom, uh, profile calculation between any two points, let's say between this station here uh, and any point uh, of the map that will basically provide uh, the profile uh, showing the digital terrain model, uh, clutter and the signal propagation, the Fresnel ellipsoid and many other parameters made available. Uh, in this case, uh, we, are, we have already defined a, a simulation environment which primarily consists of selecting uh, propagation uh, models that are appropriate uh, for the type of technology and environment we are considering here, uh, deterministic statistical models, potentially user-defined uh, models, uh, impact of the climate and many other capabilities. Also, um, we did mention that we have the capability to import uh, measurement from various types of formats in order to go through the correlation between simulation and the measurement to ultimately go through the process of tuning the models uh, so that future simulations uh, become as accurate and representative of what's actually happening uh, in the field. You have uh, the capability to manage population databases, uh, to import population database from uh, different types of format or potentially as shown here uh, to generate a population uh, by defining uh, as shown in this uh, user interface uh, a population density per clutter class which is another option of managing population in ICS Telecom. And the final um, capability we, we, we showed earlier in the presentation, the prospective uh, planning or gap filler engine which will basically allow you, given a, a specific budget, to identify the best uh, location, the best candidates for optimizing uh, the network in terms of coverage, quality of service or population covered. And the various views uh, that are provided for analysis by ICS Telecom uh, start, of course, with uh, the display of a composite coverage as shown here. But as you can see, uh, the different views provided by ICS Telecom uh, include best server display, best server overlapping, margin display, uh, and so on. So the goal of this presentation was basically uh, to provide an overview uh, of the general capabilities addressing broadcast technologies uh, in ICS Telecom. Uh, as mentioned, we are going to uh, offer complementary uh, presentations and videos uh, addressing MFN and SFN interference for broadcast networks, uh, accessible on our website at www.atdi.com. Uh, we also have uh, at this location comprehensive resources consisting of white papers. Uh, a more comprehensive version of this presentation uh, will be posted as well uh, in order to describe uh, more in depth uh, the process of managing uh, broadcast networks with ICS Telecom. And of course, should you have uh, any specific questions, uh, we'll be able uh, and we'll be glad to address them uh, if you send them to the following address, which is sales at atdi.com. So again, uh, we thank you uh, for your attention. 
we're looking forward to seeing you on other presentations.